okay so now we have learned the um record level security and the role hierarchy now it's a high time for us to test the role hierarchy so let's go ahead and test the role hierarchy and see how it works right in order to test what i'm going to do is i will let me go back to the bd okay let's say uh let's say uh, rajesh um the this particular logged in user is the bd okay so let me make myself if i go here there's no one uh the bd so far i'll go here in all users i'll make rajesh as the bd you saw it right so rajesh is the business development executive and uh, who is the district manager district manager i want to make um the testing user okay so the testing user is the district manager so let's just go to testing user add it here save now what i've done i made rajesh as the business development executive i made testing user the district manager now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make the account organization wide default as private okay so let me just quickly make it how do i make the organization wide default of account as private anybody remember the settings you have to go to sharing setting right because you are talking about record sharing go to the sharing setting go to edit and where is account just make it private yes okay okay save okay this is going to take some time so let's see if it has been done so now if you see account um the organization wide default is private i made it private so now i as rajesh is going to go and create a new account if i create a new account definitely the manager the account name i'm giving as a, a role role hierarchy test okay that's the name of the account remember this account owner is rajesh created by is rajesh so i'm i'm going to log in as testing user and see whether i am able to access this or not let me show you something guys uh, this is very powerful thing as an admin that you can do you know what you can actually log in as any other user from the same system admin login so i have logged in here as rajesh chatterji from the same screen i can actually log in as testing user so because i am admin right i can as an admin i can log in as any other user you know how to do it so if you go to users see there is a user name testing user right here is the testing user uh, this is the testing user but ideally you as an admin should have a login button next to the uh, user you are not getting it because you have to enable it okay so search here login right and if you go to login access policies here you have an option called administrator can log in as any user you as an admin can log in as any user directly right you don't need the username and password of that user you can directly log in as that user from this org that's very helpful okay uh you know the second option what is it so sometime uh if what we do is we as an admin create a ticket right we raise a ticket to the salesforce product team and the salesforce product team they what they do is they log in from their end just like as an admin okay now they can only log in uh if i check this radio button okay salesforce.com support user can log in over here you as an admin can give option to so that they can log in from their end okay so this is something i'm not giving because uh, i haven't raised any ticket so far right so uh, i have checked check this box now i'll go back to the same users u s e r s you see the magic now here we go we have a login button now i as rajesh chatterji i don't have to open an uh, you know incognito window and uh, log in from that incognito window with uh, by giving the username and the password i can directly log in from here 
that's the power of an admin so let's click on the login button now now what i have to see here i will click on this login button and i will see if that account i have access or not i will go to the account see i don't have access to that account any reason why because i am there in the recently viewed account this is called list view okay we'll talk about list view in the next video so if i go to the all account here i will see the account called what is the account name if you remember a role see role hierarchy test i mean you can use this search button to search it quickly see i have access to this record the organization wide default of account is private and the record owner is rajesh chatterjee but still i as testing user i am able to access this why is this happening because testing user is on top of the rajesh's role hierarchy you i hope you got this right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove testing user from the role hierarchy called um i think uh, dm right and then we'll see uh, after the after testing user is removed from the role hierarchy will he uh, still be having access to this data or not right so let me just log out and log in back as the as the rajesh strategy right as the system admin so i have logged in as system admin okay rajesh strategy yeah now i'll go to the role hierarchy and uh, remove testing user expand all um i think the testing user is there in the dm yeah i am i mean rajesh is the bde and dm uh, the testing user is nothing but the dm I will go to this DM, click on assign, and I will remove testing user from this role. Right? And now testing user is not inside this role. Correct? So what will happen now if I log in as the testing user? Go to users. Now let's log in as testing user and try to see if I still have access to the account or not. So I'll go to the account. See in the recently view it is not coming but if i go to this all account i don't see any account why because all these those account that i was able to see when i when when the testing user was there in that dm role correct all those accounts uh, were created by rajesh strategy right so that's why testing user even if you search here with a role enter nothing will come why because this particular user testing user has been removed from the role hierarchy now he will not be able to uh, see this uh, one small thing i forgot to show you uh, please check this out and uh, you see this by yourself okay so i forgot to show you that i as a testing user when i was there in that dm role what type of access i had of the data right where uh, i was able to i mean edit the data or not uh, ideally you should have but you please when you test it i it, you definitely have to test it okay please check this out see all this thing that we have learned this this i am teaching salesforce this last almost 10 years okay this is my 10 years experience right if you don't practice it if you don't see the output right after implementing this role hierarchy if you don't see the output like how i am seeing right now you'll forget it right you should have a real time hands on right so this is how please create two different users and test everything anything that you configured as an admin you log in as that user and definitely test it out all right so that will definitely help you a lot to remember the concept forever okay so uh that's all about pretty much um, a role hierarchy right and uh, now in the next video we're going to talk about the object level security right see you in the next video